Are my batteries dead again? Ugh, this camera is broken. Technology. I'm gonna have a juice box. Mm, I'm gonna have a juice box camera. You don't need the latest digital camera to take pictures. You just need a juice box. Plus some other household supplies like uh, an X-Acto knife, a Sharpie, black electrical tape, scissors, pop can, tape, cardboard, sandpaper, some paper towel. You also need a needle, a key, like a locker key is perfect, and two rolls of film. So when you buy your new roll of film at the photo lab, you can also ask for an empty roll here with just the end sticking out from the old roll. The first step is to make a frame for the film. So I'm just going to lay my film across the back of the juice box where the seam is and I'm going to make a little line at the top and one at the bottom but of course the frame needs to be smaller than the film so I'm going to shrink it in a little bit take it in about a centimeter at the bottom and just kind of make a rectangle there that looks about right and the next step is to start cutting it out so I use my Zacto knife to cut out the rectangle you can also use your scissors if the knife is destroying your box after that's cleaned out, what we want to do is to cut out a smaller square on the opposite side, which will be where our pinhole will go. So I'm going to draw a small square and use my X-Acto knife to cut it out. So our little square lines up nicely with our rectangle, which is perfect. The inside of the juice can is silver, so if you want to paint it black, that'll help cut down on reflections. We're going to skip that step right now and go to our pop can where we're cutting out little piece of metal that we will use to make our pinhole. Use my scissors to get the last piece out. So I'm taking my needle and I'm going to use the end of my sharpie to help push the needle through the metal. Make a nice little hole. Now on the other side we have to sand it a little bit to get rid of the rough edges and then we're ready to tape this on to the front of our box. So this pinhole is our lens. We're going to tape it on the front of the box so that the light will enter and it will hit our film on the back of the box. We're going to use our electrical tape to tape it on very securely. We don't want any light to enter except for that one pinhole. So how does this film thing work? Right, we've got our two rolls. Our new roll of film, which will be roll A. You can write that on with a marker. And our empty can will be roll B, with a little piece sticking out. We're going to pull the film across the back of the screen as we take our pictures by attaching the two together and we'll use our key to wind the film across. So we're going to attach our films together. We need to cut off the little extra piece of film, the leader, and get some tape in order to attach the new film to the end of the empty can. Our juice box camera is almost complete. Cut out a piece of cardboard to cover up the back of the film. We need to wrap it in electrical tape and it's a good idea to wrap it horizontally so that as the film is passing across it's not going to receive any friction. Tape your cardboard onto the back, sealing off any places where light could get in and don't forget to cover over the straw hole. Now we have to tape the cans onto the side very securely, make sure the tape doesn't go on the film itself but covering up any spot where light could get in. I've taped all around my film canisters to make sure no light would get in. The last thing we need to tape up is our pinhole. We can use a little piece of tape as a lens cap. I drew a star on my box to remind myself where the key goes to advance my film. I put it in the hole and then I can watch the little line spin. One, two, three, four, Five. We're now ready to take our first picture. Each time we take a picture, we're going to advance the film five times. When your film is finished, you'll need to take up the tape, cut the films, and take roll B to get developed at a lab. April 27th, Worldwide Pinhole Photography Day.